Hello and welcome to The Trending Times. In today's video, we will be discussing a recent court ruling in the US where an Indiana high school allegedly pushed a music teacher to resign for refusing to use transgender students, new names and pronouns. The seventh US Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that Brownsburg High School broke no law by allegedly pressuring the orchestra teacher, John Kluge, to resign. The court found that Kluge's rights were outweighed by the potential disruption of the school's learning environment. Kluge argued that the district's policy to honor students' names and pronouns went against his religious beliefs. The district had instructed high school teachers to use the names and pronouns listed for students in the school's official database, where changes were authorized with letters from a student's parent and a doctor. Kluge had voiced his discomfort on the first day of classes and cited his Christian beliefs to the school principal, prompting district officials to allow him to call students by their last names. However, at least two transgender students said that the teacher's refusal to use their first names was hurtful and singled them out in front of classmates. Kluge's choice was met with swift criticism from other students, teachers, and counselors, who told district officials they felt uncomfortable in Kluge's classroom. Following the complaints, the school allegedly urged Kluge to quit, and he resigned in 2018 after being told he would be fired if he didn't address students properly. Kluge sued the district in 2019, accusing it of violating a federal law prohibiting workplace discrimination based on religion, and sought reinstatement and unspecified monetary damages. However, the Chicago-based Seventh Circuit disagreed, upholding an Indiana federal judge's dismissal of the case. The appeals court noted that the district had tried to accommodate Kluge's religious objection, but realized his use of last names resulted in students feeling disrespected, targeted, and dehumanized, and in disruptions to the learning environment. The opinion read that Brownsburg has demonstrated as a matter of law that the requested accommodation worked an undue burden on the school's educational mission by harming transgender students and negatively impacting the learning environment for transgender students, for other students in classes in the school generally, and for the faculty. Kluge's attorney, Rory Gray, who works for the Conservative Alliance Defending Freedom, said that the legal group is considering its next steps. Gray argued that Congress passed Title VII to prevent employers from forcing workers to abandon their beliefs to keep their jobs, and in this case, Mr. Kluge went out of his way to accommodate his students and treat them all with respect. That's it for today's video. Please let us know your thoughts on this matter in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more news and updates.